Remember the Eddie Funko Pop? Dude, people gave us so much over that video. Oh, they gave us a lot of crap. And the reason why they gave us a lot of crap is because we said that the Eddie Munson Funko Pop would eventually be easy to pick up. People called us liars. The Eddie Funko Pop came out when things were still slowed down due to all the pandemic slowness. And what happened was people who worked at Target said that it would be released in October. But the problem is Target follows a really strict guideline as to when things can actually be put on the shelves because after a certain amount of time it goes on sale 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 clearance and then gone forever so by the time the eddies got to them they weren't allowed to sell them anymore because so much time had elapsed that's yeah. why we saw them in that discount store in california right that's why we saw them at ollie's right well that's it what is that it? that's how you're gonna end your statement yeah <laughs> you just throw your arms up and say that's it yeah that's all <laughs> Okay. Well, you didn't tell the first part of the story. Oh, what's the first part of the story? The Eddie Funko Pop dropped right as Stranger Things Season 4 was coming out. Well, and people it, didn't realize it was a fan favorite. It dropped before it came out. Well, before out. it came yeah. out, right. So, but people didn't realize it was a fan favorite. I remember seeing those displays for like a week or two before it came out. And then by the time we actually got around to watching it, like the entire display was ripped apart. There was like, an Eddie craze. There was craze. nothing left. People were it, crazy about Eddie. It wasn't even just Eddie. Like all of the pops were gone. I I remember it. I was trying to take Eddie and Crazy and put it together, but I don't think it's going to work out. Creddy? Edzy? Don't even anymore. Well, our friend Keith Clow found a whole bunch of these Eddies. Yes, he did. Thank you so much, Keith. He gave them to us in order to give away. And guess what? I want to give one away, but I'm not going to tell you how to win it until sometime in this video. I'll just randomly shout it at you. Look, Look at all these Eddies. We have a whole case of them. That's a lot of Eddies. Yeah, so these are the special edition ones. Um, in my opinions, stickers don't mean and to be honest with you, these are in much better condition than literally all of the Eddies that I have seen in the United States. The new special edition stickers are fire. I know, I really I love, really the, love the new stickers. They're fantastic. You know what they are? What? Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. Thank no. you, Keith. You Thank are the you, best, Keith. seriously, for sending us all these. And these are in like perfect shape, all of them. This has been like in our gigantic stockpile for like, what, two months now, three months? A long time. I don't even know. Keith sent this to me also. It's a Optimus Prime head for popcorn. Okay, let's be real though. Like these are no longer popcorn buckets. These are just display pieces. Oh, they are. Who is putting their popcorn in these things? His eyes His light. eyes are lit up. Look, I can turn them off. It's lit. It is lit. It's Do lit like and it's legit. Look, on, off, on, off, on, off. I love it. This is so cool. Thank you. I love this. I don't really collect these things, but I like this one a lot. I'm, gl I'm glad that he sent it to me. You broke it. Now how are you going to eat your popcorn? Do you want me to get it? What the f- are you- oh, I was going to say what happened to the- I thought I broke it. Okay, thank you, Keith. You're you're amazing. Eddie's this. So our friend Mark Wright sent me something. It says, hey, Chris, I was working at Colorado Springs Con, was working with the voice actors and seen Dave Sobolu. He's the voice for Rhinox. Remembered you like Transformers, so I grabbed one. I've received so many things from you guys. So returning the gifts. Still looking for something for Heather. Thank you, Mark. You don't have to get me anything, Mark. Just like making Chris happy is more than enough for me. Wow. I know. I like I never thought happy. I'd hear you say Thank that. You, Mark. Look at this. It's a Rhinox Funko Pop. It's JSA authentic. That's amazing. You know what he told me? What? He said something about, I know how much Chris loved the new movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That's so cool. Thank that you, is Mark. Amazing. I will happily add this to all of my signed Funko Pops. And I specifically love signed Transformers Funko Pops. So this is amazing. By the way, uh, no comment on this particular Funko Pop though, but it, but it's great. I think this is a lot of fun. It's great trash. It's great trash because it's so ridiculous. Look at it. I know. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Thank you, Mark. You're the best. So we got a pretty big box. 
Chris and Heather just wanted to share some Funko love with the Gasso Cash community in the upcoming Patreon call. We watch almost every night and can't wait for NYCC to see you guys again. Thanks for the daily laughs and hopefully these find a loving home. Sincerely, Amy and Adam Rubin. You guys are the best. P.S. The offer to help going up to NYCC still stands. Aww. How sweet are they? Very sweet. There's a lot. So we have sodas. There's a... Look at that, it's a Jessica Rabbit soda. Oh my god! Yeah, you needed this, didn't you? No. This we might we might actually keep this. You you have to ask Amy if that's okay. I'm sure they're gonna be fine with it. Look, it's a Reptar soda. I know. My goodness, there's a lot in here. There really is. Oh my god, it's Proto the dog as a Funko Pop. Aww. Oh, that's really cool. Look at him. I didn't even notice he has a rewind in his hand. He does have a rewind in his hand. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Freddy Funko as the toucan. That's adorable. That is great. Look at that. Oh, a floaty Freddy. Oh, he's so cool. These are fantastic. I love that he has the Loch Ness Monster around his waist. Me too. I just noticed that. It's the fun on the run Freddy. It's the Soda Jerk, a.k.a. the Gas Man, a.k.a. what else did we say? I don't know. I think Police the Gas officer? Man is the best. And then there's Freddy Funko. This is the bowling trophy. Freddy Funko. Wow, you guys sent all sorts of cool stuff. Thank you. We will give all this stuff away. They also sent Biddy Pop Freddy Funkos. Those guys are great, aren't they? So I've been wanting to see one of these in person. Can you open Jessica Rabbit too? Oh, he's okay. cool. He's cooler than I thought. So yeah, when I cool. saw pictures of him, I hated it. In person, he's so much better. These are adorable. God, yeah. I love that Jessica Rabbit. She's going to go great with your Roger Rabbit. I know. So story time. Chris actually ordered me a couple of Jessica Rabbits when Funko was doing like that glitchy sale thing. Remember it was like 25 bucks off or something? Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. And then they canceled it and then he never bought me another. So thank you, Amy. I don't think this was intended for me. <laughs> don't but look so sad. As long as you're okay with it, I'm gonna I'm gonna claim this. Okay. I think our patrons will be okay with it. I right? think they will. Watch on our next Patreon call. They're, They're all so yelling mad. and mad. Yeah, because I have the Jessica Rabbit. You're a piece of <laughs> you other. Ah! Why is she upside down? I'll put her back in there. She's in there now. She's not supposed to be upside down, Chris. I'm gonna have to keep this reptile. I'm not gonna lie. No, you don't even like. Oh, so you get to keep, but I don't get to keep anything. No, you want to know why? Because you have way more stuff than me. We have one last box, and it's all the way from Australia. Ooh. Can you even believe it? You know, I was at the post office picking this up today and stuff was coming out of the bottom. I don't know what it is. What do you mean stuff? Like little pieces were coming out of the bottom apparently. And the postal worker was like, what is going on? What's coming out of the bottom of the box? But I never got to see exactly what it was. It was on their side of the counter. It was oh falling all over the floor. What was it? I don't know. I mean, something was coming out of the bottom. We're gonna find out. So this comes from our friend, Chris Grist. Hope by the time this arrives, the weather has cooled down a little. No, no it's incredibly it's hot. Hot as I have enclosed a Funko six pack box with some Patreon giveaways for the September call. Oh, that's awesome. My God, we have so much to give away. A signed Nebula and some trash I couldn't sell. Oh, good. I hope someone other than me wins it. With the help of Aussie Pop and Paul, we have included some Aussie snacks and some lollies candy for Chris. Finally, just wanted to say I really enjoyed season one of the podcast and looking forward to season two. They're talking about our Mischief Toys podcast. Coming from a manufacturing background, I would love to hear and see more of that aspect. Keep up the good work. Love, Chris Gris. Thank you so much. That's Thank so sweet of you. you. Hold on, there's a P.S. Oh, no. P.S. The Monster Munch and Fruit Pastel... Pastilles, pastels, are UK treats, import, enjoy. Wow. Okay, interesting. Wow, so there's a lot in here. Milo. 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 So this is like Ovaltine, sort of. So they have a cereal, that's cool. Cadbury caramel. This is my favorite. This is literally Cherry my favorite. Cherry Ripe is my favorite. Ugh. Oh, I love Cherry Ripe. Oh, here's Monster Munch. Monster Munch pickled onion is the flavor. Oh, good luck. Have fun. Oh, I think I found out what oh, was falling. Here's the fruit pasta. What? Oh, this is what was falling everywhere. Oh, no. Twist Donut King. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I trust them yet. Yeah, I don't think we can eat them. Fruit, oh, no. Here's the fruit pastilli things. 
These smell good though, smell it. They're probably really stale. Tim Tam. Kit Kat Gold? Golden White Chop? Oh my God, this is mine. What is this? this <gasps> it's a large bag of gummy worms or gummy snakes. Wallaby. Party mix. Okay, was someone opening this for real? Cause this is the second one. That's been opened? That, yeah, this was opened. Or did it just happen in transit? I don't know, here's Carmela Koala. So this is a golden blend of caramelized white chocolate. Shapes. Ooh, pizza. pizza flavored. Shapes Original Barbecue, Shapes Fully Loaded Epic Garlic Bread, and Shapes Chicken Parm. They must call it Chicken Parmy. So this is the same thing as this, I think. So apparently it's a thing over there. A golden blend of caramelized white chocolate. I can't describe it. It's like white chocolate, but better. So here's the Funko Pop part. This is Fire Lord Ozai. Ozai from Avatar. Killer B from Naruto. Killer B. Here's the signed Nebula. It says Idiots. Oh my gosh, I love That's that. really great. Charlotte, ooh, from Black Clover. It's a glow pop. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool looking Funko Pop though. She has like these cool weapons in her hands. Yeah, she's that's really awesome. cool. That's awesome. Wow. So. Um, this is a lot. What are these? These are the shapes? Pizza shapes? Yeah, these are the chicken parmies. Oh, these are chicken parmies. Here's the pizza ones. Oh my God. I know. So this is what it's like to eat in Australia. Mm -hmm. I want to go there. Let me try that one. Cause I can't imagine the pizza and chicken parmi are much different. They're pretty different. They are different. This actually tastes like chicken. This is weird. Why do you guys have such good snacks? Do you know what these remind me of? And not in the way, like it doesn't taste like it, but these remind me of the chicken and the biscuits. Yes. Cause they're like really flavorful little crackers, but these are different. The pizza ones are lighter than the chicken ones. This is awesome, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I can't say much cause I'm eating. I can say stuff when I'm eating. I am, I can just talk all day. I don't think my body's ready for this. I don't think I'm ready for your body after that. The large share bag. You think I'm sharing? That's laughable. That's not a share bag. Pickled onion. Yeah, that's gonna make me throw up. I don't know, you might like it. Yeah, you're not gonna like it. No. Yeah, no, I'm not. You, is it good? Does it taste good? You enjoying no. that? <laughs> I might <laughs> throw up. I regret that. I <laughs> a lot. Well, thank you so much, Chris. You're amazing. Thank you for sending all these great snacks, except for that one, because I think we're gonna toss those right into the garbage can. Max might want them. Max might want them? Mm -hmm. That's torture for a kid. Are you serious? He might love it. I mean, look, they got a monster on the front. Yeah, because that's the only f thing he wants to eat them. This is disgusting. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do you hate us? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, let us know what you think about all the things we showed you in this video and more in the comment section down below. And if you want to win an Eddie, Heather, what do they got to do? Use hashtag Eddie is my BFF. If you want to enter to win this, please just like ensure that you love Stranger Things and that you don't already have an Eddie. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. We really appreciate all of your support in every video. We'd like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Kevin LaFranc, Giuseppe Grioli, Carlos Q, Patricia Hurtock, Damian Spalma, George Shahide, Garrett aka FastMood24, Michelle D, Rollies and Chris Restivo. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. I had a piece of one of those onion things like come out with the chocolate that I just ate. Like from like, I guess the back of my mouth. Oh no, don't spit it out. I did, I spit it in here. No, please don't, no, you just spit it out just right here. No, I, that that was something else. What? How do you decipher that? Oh my God, it smells. You got to get them out of here. I, I don't think I can handle this for real. It's gonna make me ill. Please, I know, it's take disgusting. the box, take the, put, the, put them in the box and get them the out of here.